morning my dear students and welcome back so students today in sst we are going to do the topic directions now here as you can see on the screen this is a needle compass tool this tool is used to find out the directions so today we are going to study the six types of directions and how we can figure out that we are standing in which direction so you know that whether it is the map of india or asia or even the map of whole world we always keep in mind the four basic directions they are north direction east direction south direction and west direction now north direction is at the top the east direction is on your right hand side south direction is at the bottom and west direction is on your left hand side now let's study some more directions here from the top you see n which shows north direction then coming to your right e which shows east direction now in the middle of north and east the area which lies is called north east direction which is denoted as ne north east similarly when you come downwards you see between the direction east and south there is another direction which is south east why south east because south east direction is the direction which falls between south direction and east direction similarly coming to your left hand side we see between the direction west and direction south between both these direction lies south west direction and similarly on the top between the north side and west side lies north west direction now let's talk about scale so students as we know that the earth is very big and we cannot show the whole earth that is the whole map of the earth on one single page so we have scales to draw the maps this becomes very easy to draw the map on a page how let's take an example you see uh, from delhi to agra it is 200 km distance so we cannot draw the 200 km on our sheet so that is why the scales are used as you can see here in the picture the scales can vary from the distance of 20 to 25 or 50 to 25 then 0 to 50 Fifty to hundred, hundred to one fifty, or one fifty to two hundred kilometers. So here we know that when we draw the scale on the map, we shows the distance of fifty kilometers, or we take the distance of hundred kilometers or two hundred kilometers. That depends on us. But by making the scale on the maps, it becomes easy for us to know the distance on a piece of page. Symbols. now students you know that uh, there is not enough space for us to show long rivers lakes bridges dams temples and railway tracks on a map so for that we use symbols that are shown on the map now what are symbols symbols are basically the small marks or a very small and easy drawing which is used to show some of the places here you can see in the picture to show a mountain peak we have a symbol which is triangular in shape similarly to show airport we make the picture of aeroplane and show it on the map again there are many other symbols for different places like capital towns roads railways and paths now colors we use different colors to show various different things on map now look at this picture of indian map now here you can see the different colors are used to show different 
things and different types of land for example you can see the blue color in indian ocean arabian sea and to the bay of bengal it shows the water bodies so the water is colored with blue color then you can see the green color area which shows the plains or the low land so all the plains are colored with green color so that we can easily know that on the map of india the green part is the plain area now you can also see the brown color at the top mostly that is showing the highlands or we can say the mountains also below it you can also see a small key which shows altitude scale this part shows that every land area and the height of each area that's all for today thank you